So what happens if we make a linear artificial neural network deep? We could say y in this case is a times b times c and so on up to z times x. But that's really not changing anything. Now, like I can now rewrite this as v times x, where v is the product of the matrices a through z. So making linear artificial neural networks deep makes no difference in a way, but in a way it does, no? Because um, once we make it deep, we will definitely be over-parameterized. We will have a lot more parameters than we will have data points. And if we have an over-parameterized system, then the parameterization matters for the way how it converges. And we'll try and understand this a little bit better today, and we will look at deep linear neural networks, which seems weird if you even think about it. But first, let's think about uh, let's think a little bit about abstractions. No? If we talk about linear neural networks, it's we can write equations that make this be linear, but ultimately it is implemented by binary numbers. Binary numbers are very much not linear. No? Like if you look at how microprocessor works, which I highly recommend, it's great fun, um, then it, it, it ultimately is implemented by operations like OR gates or XOR gates and things like that, that are very much not linear. So we have these two levels. We have the level of the mathematical abstraction, where we try and approximate a linear neural network, and the level of the machine, where we're not linear. And um, these two are different. And we design an exercise right now that gets you to see a little to which level the two of them are not the same. And um, what's the abstractions? Now, if we look at a typical number representation, it might, uh, now here we have 32-bit uh, floats. It has a sign, it's a, it's a bit th that just binarily says, is this a positive or negative number? It have a, has an exponent, and then it has the number itself. What that means is that if you zoom all the way in, it doesn't actually look linear. And this like a breakdown of abstractions is arguably very important. It leads to a lot of failures in deep learning and it's actually very interesting. So let us all see that with our own eyes. So now what you'll do is you'll look at the behavior of linear neurons, zoom all the way in, to see to which level there are nonlinearities involved.